After the president, after the head coach, it's now the time for a short interview with our captain, Kevin. After this short unexpected break, uh, tell us, did you enjoy these few days without basketball? How did you spend your free time? Uh, just really just rest and relaxing. Uh, get my body back together, to be honest with you. Uh, so it was, it was much needed, um, but it, it was cool. I didn't take too many days off. I took about two days off and then I was back, you know, moving my body around and trying to get back active. So it, it, it was good. Generally, you're now living in Belgrade for almost two years. Tell us, what is Kevin Panther doing here besides playing basketball? Uh, oh, anything that's possible that you could do in Belgrade. I've been here long enough, so I kind of know the ins and outs. Uh, so just everything you could think of, you know, just try to enjoy my time here as best as possible. Obviously, I'm away from home, so always try to just make this feel like home as much as possible, you know, like off the court. So anything possible that's fun that you could think of, that's probably what I have did already or, you know, I already know. So it's, it's cool. It's not bad. You are known as extremely professional, but this last month we could also see you celebrating with fans a yeah. few times. I don't want to be pathetic or naive, but that is not the part of the job. That is some kind of emotion. How do you see all of that? Um, I really don't show emotion when I play. So to be honest with you, um, when you do see me show emotion, it's like it's a particular situation. Uh, a lot of times these fans bring a lot of emotion that I don't really show out just because the game is so intense and it's like they're so into the game and they care so much. It'll, it'll make me show, it'll make me physically show emotion. You know, I always have emotion inside. You can't really tell what I'm thinking or what I'm, how I'm feeling or anything like that. But a lot of times, like just interacting with the fans, seeing how much they care so much, it has brought out a lot of emotion in me just for other people to see because I don't know what people think of me on the outside in, but you know, yeah, I have emotions, but when I'm playing, I'm just so focused and locked in. I don't, I don't show emotion or anything like that, but for sure I'm having fun and, you know, interacting with people as much as I can and just things like that, uh, things like that. So, yeah. It's been a while since you became captain of Partizan, first foreign captain in 78 years of history of this club. Fans were cheering your name a dozen times, which is probably the sign that they accepted that role for you. How do you look on that now? Man, I appreciate that. Uh, it's, I said earlier in the year, it's truly an honor and just, I appreciate being a captain here. It's just truly an honor with just how serious they take everything, how serious this, this club is about basketball and, you know, I feel like that's a reflection of, of how I treat my craft and just how I respect the game, you know. Um, so I, I truly, it's truly honor for, for this club and uh, the fans to accept me as, as the captain, especially being a foreigner. So every day I just try to embrace it. Uh, and obviously not try to be perfect, but just try to embrace it and, and just have fun with it and just take it game by game, practice day by day, you know, just things like that. So I'm just, I'm just going, I'm going with it and I'm enjoying every bit. Now we have a very good results, very good atmosphere, but as a captain, as a leader of this team, what can you tell us about atmosphere in, during that tough period when we had a few tough and lost matches in a row? Probably now is the time to remember where you find strength and motivation that, during that period. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how you build character, to be honest with you, build adversity. A lot of people don't understand that. Uh, a lot of people just understand uh, results, um, but that's how you really see what you're made of when you go through the hardest times. Uh, anybody could be happy and love you when you win it. That's easy, but you really see who's with you and, and what kind of people you have around you when you're going through the hardest times. And that period, we was going through the hardest times and we really seen you know, who was with us and that was a chance for us to as a staff, as as a as players, as everyone to just stay together and continue to just work through those times, you know. So that's that um those moments help for later in the season when you need to be together for a playoff push or say you win the playoffs or a final four, like when you in the moment where you need it the most, 
you have to look back at those October and that November stretch where things was rough and that's where we built a lot of team chemistry, uh, built more character and uh, adversity we went through. The job is not done. The most important matches in both, comp both competitions are coming. What is your message for the fans b before this period? Man, uh, obviously we got a tough two weeks. Uh, the last two weeks of the season is going to be extremely tough. Obviously starting on Friday and then like back to back, back, back to back to back. So um, we're going to give everything we got. Uh, continue to be positive, continue to keep working and continue to keep uh, doing what we've been doing all season long. Just, you know, just trying to protect our home court, make these fans happy, obviously make ourselves happy and just continue to try to reach our goals. You know, we have goals as a team and you just continue to try to reach our goals. Captain, thank you very much and good Appreciate luck. Appreciate you, man. Thank you.